Andy Dilks. I'm one of the store managers at McGuckin Hardware. This is my 34th year working here. It's a great company. Started in 1955. It was Bill McGuckin. He wanted to start uh, a fishing store. He wanted to be a, a fly fishing store. And uh, right away he realized that there wasn't enough traffic and enough money to make that work by itself. So he just added a few things, added a few things, and decided to call it a hardware and sporting goods store. And that was really the first uh, McGuckins. And it was really just as Boulder was growing, we were right there. This part of town was the, the far east, uh, uh, the farmlands uh, of Boulder. And yeah, when that started expanding, we did too. And, and we're in our fireplace room now, another one of those categories that we didn't have any intentions of being in, but people asked us, you know, can you get fireplace tools? Can you get pipe? Can you get uh, this? And the next thing, we just expanded. And the way McGuckins usually does things is we overdo it. So rather than bring in, you know, three or four stoves, we brought in 65 stoves. Just the way we like to do things. Same with our hammer selection. If you go down our tool department and look at the hammer aisle, you'd think it was a hammer museum down there. Because we went overboard, we bought every kind of hammer that was out there. Just so that that would be the best selection that we could offer. One of our strongest categories forever has been our housewares department, which you know isn't necessarily a hardware type item, but housewares has just done incredible for us. Um, number two, usually right behind uh, every month, is sporting goods. Used to be the name on our business, McGuckin Hardware and Sporting Goods. And yes, uh, I think that we can rival some of the specialty stores, some of our, uh, the, the fly fishing and just fishing department in general can rival some of the specialty fishing shops in town. We've got a great selection and again, knowledgeable people, real fly fishermen working in that aisle. And then everything else just kind of fits in. I mean, we, we, we couldn't eliminate anything and we couldn't do without it. We have to have electrical, have to have tools, have to have the nuts and bolts, I mean, all the, the, the basic hardware things. Every department is important. Everything adds on, you know, little ones, stationary hobbies, pets, the, uh, the live plant room, the automotive uh, accessories. I mean, they're not, you know, huge categories for us, but add them all together, and that's really what makes McGuck's uh, successful. 250,000 different items. Again, it's another one, one of those things that the, the college professor would shake his head and go, you're, you're going to lose money. You're never going to make it carrying that much merchandise. Because the experts, the big boxes, have all narrowed it down to their 30 to 40,000 items that they know are going to sell. They're proven. I've got those same 30, 40,000 items too. I know they're proven. They're going to be my, my A items. But this business wouldn't be successful. I didn't have the B, the C, the D items, the totally obscure, the Z items, the things that nobody ever asked for, but we get that one guy from Colorado Springs, comes up here because he knows that McGuckins has it. It's a little three inch brass with you know two holes in the side. And grandpa will get down his knees and roots in the back and then pull it out and he's like, here it is, I got one left. And it's like nobody in the planet has this thing. Come to McGuckins, give us a try.